Ugh, good morning, Tatsuki. Okay, Pokemon, get to work! Oh, you two! Let me give you your assignment for today. Look up jobs on the job bulletin board and outlaw notice board. Do the list of jobs, that will do for today. Understood? No shirking your work, okay? Well, if you understand, get on with it. Alright, Oswald, we're expecting six Pokemon to come by. Should be an easy day today. Six Yankees against one of my sentries? I believe the numbers are in my favor here. What's that? You want me to explain how the job bulletin works? Well, alright, let me explain. First, you want to stand in front of the job bulletin board. All the information should be on the letters, including place, reward, hirey, rescuee, additional mission info, etc. Oh, and that long code at the bottom? Yeah, no one really knows what the hell that does. We assume it's just some unique identification. The Federation with their dumb regulations and all. Oh, then why the hell are you talking to me? Oh yeah, wait! Hey, Morgan! I got us a large contract yesterday. Apparently it's a huge client. Some big shot named Alvin. Morgan said what did I tell you about huge clients? Whatever happened to starting out small? Morgan said we don't take normal jobs from the job bulletin board. Arc Security Solutions is not an exploration or rescue team. We are a contracted security company. So are you guys, like, mercenaries? Morgan said in a way, yes. But our jobs are more on protecting rather than battling. It's a lot better than our original jobs. <sighs> Another beautiful day. The seas seem to be in low tide right now. Might be no finer day to take me old ship out for a dip. Eh, if you two wanted, maybe one of these days I'll take you out to sea. So you Sochi's ran off to rescue some kid? Well, I'll give you boys one thing. That's mighty commendable. Erte is no eto kri erte and they own me own me uye stekse. Hakumodo ile sin pitch property. Hak is to vode personale. Lumen tomori. sleep last night. Not great. Is your bed still lumpy? Yeah, I have no idea what's causing it. We should really talk to my cargo about that. Yeah, maybe we can. Who's shouting in the square? I don't know, but it sounds like they need help. Let's go. What's going on? Who's shouting? 
What's got you in a bunch, Sonny? That screaming was nothing but Warner off his rocker again. Warner? Huh. You've never seen this man on his whole end of the world spiel. Seen her thus. You're in for a treat. Come listen. Guys! I swear it's true! Twilight Force is completely monochrome! Nothing is moving there! The Pokémon are suffering! Some crazy stuff is going down right now! The world is coming to an end, everyone! Oh, shut the hell up! Now, Hoxton, as your attorney and probation officer, I think you should- Zip it, Snowrun! I'm only saying what everyone's thinking. Why should I listen to you? Hey, why are any of us still listening to you? All you've ever done is spit your rubbish all over the town! You're only doing this to get your damn fix. Oi, Piggy Piggy! Yeah, I'm talking to you, Bacon Bits! <laughs> Keep your nicknames to yourself, Hoxton, and you'll end up back in the slammer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, Pork Pie. Why aren't you and your buddy arresting this idiot? I need to stab in the peace. Yeah, I know. All of us on the forest know. But the chief gave us strict orders to leave him be. Especially Cloaker. Why can't the police apprehend Warner? Ah, uh, yes. It's because of Warner's m mental condition. It's pretty bad. What is it? We don't really know. Most doctors don't go to name for it. We in the town dubbed it Hyper Self Indulgent Schadenfreude. How do I explain this? Let's say I headbutted you right now. How would you feel? Uh. bad? Exactly. You'd hate it. It'd feel bad. Now, when Warner feels it, instead of feeling bad, his brain releases dopamine. Which your dog fellow said is a happy chemical. Same chemical gets released when you get hug. So when Warner feels pain, the man gets a large, enjoyable feeling. We think this is why he's gone insane. None of us know where this started. It just happened one day. And ever since, he does these large displays so the police would attack him. He openly antagonizes Cloaker, the officer with a notorious record of violence. We saw him a couple days ago, Edwer. Even when Drowsy was in cuffs, he whacked him hard behind the head. Jeez. I say we toss this bastard out of town! Who's with me? Right! If I may speak, small Amoga. I didn't ask a question for nothing, so go on ahead. As I am from the tribes of the northern mountains, I feel myself connected to nature. Over the past few weeks, I felt nothing but pressure. The world's balance feels to be falling. Normally I can feel the winds and leaves that come from Twilight Forest. Yet today I felt nothing. I cannot say what the Monferno says is true, but the coincidence feels plausible. I think the old man might be onto something, actually. Think about all the crazy crap that's been happening over the past week. I mean, it's blizzarding atop Mount Silver, and it's been blizzarding for four days now! Blood Bastion's also dry as hell now. It hasn't rained there in God knows how long. That place supplies like 90% of New Hopeville's water. And we've already used the good chunk of what remains. Not to mention the berry shortage. Don't even get me started on the berry shortage. How am I supposed to make good product without authentic petroberry leaves? Wait, isn't your product legal? No, you don't. They legalized it. 
I'm gonna party tonight. If I see you with one, I swear to Arceus. Oh, fine. Psst. I'll meet you behind your shop tonight. Awesome. Come on, guys! Just listen! Something seriously wrong is going on. Think about it! All this stuff has been happening in the span of a few weeks? You mean to tell me none of this worries you, Hoxton? All of these crazy things happening so close to each other! Piss off, you wanker! We don't even know what you're talking about! Actually, Shimshon. I think I might know exactly what's going on. Great. Just what we need. An explanation from Dr. Crazy. <laughs> oh, Yingele. Just because my doctrine expired doesn't mean I don't know my stuff. So, little fire friend, tell me everything you know. Well, I'll call it a strip from the forest. I can't feel any movement, not even a breeze. I tried to move a leaf, but it was rock solid. And the wild Pokemon were freaking out! Your hesitancy proves worrisome. C come on, dude, spit it out. Before I say anything, I ask that none of you panic. Alright? Morgan said now that you said that I am already panicking. W what is it, Doctor? From what I'm hearing, the time gear of Twilight Forest has been stolen. What? What the hell did he just say? What kind of idiot would take a time gear? Is this the end of the world? Morgan said, did those tribes people take it? Do not insult my people. You think we know not the threat those artifacts pose? Bite your tongue. What about that plusle? They always carry some kind of thing with them. Is that the time gear? No, no. If it were, then the forest would have been paralyzed for a while. I'm unsure as to what they even have. And frankly, I'm too scared of that Yingle to even ask. Well, someone's gotta do something. I know for a fact I didn't watch my comrades die for this town just for the world to end. Oh yeah, what a good idea with the last town too. Hoxton, I'd like to remind you who has what strapped to their body. Put a sock in it, fish cakes. That goes for all of you. Do I need to remind you all of Warner's reputation? All his lies and schemes? I get it. Some other stuff is happening. But I've not ever heard of a coincidence. Snowing on Mount Silver. Weird. Berry shortage. Yeah, that's bad. For a bastion drying up. Dire. But what sort of sogging idiot would steal a time gear? I may have an idea. Ah, great. Another outsider sticking their nose where they shouldn't. Especially you. With that forehead's up Magnazone's ass, I'm surprised it's not brown. Or oily and black in this case. Ugh. Well, you certainly love to crack out insults and petty nicknames. If you could lie as good, then maybe I wouldn't be suspicious. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about, boss? We both read Warner's file, and this all checks out. Did you read Hoxton's? Noble Hawksworth, fifth by count of Folkland. Emolga, male, originating from the Mist Continent. One of the five counts of theft, including the break-in at Gold Gorgeous, de facto leader of Team Heisters, 
in the large thieving operation and contracted workers for the Intercontinental Mystery Syndicate. That organization made to rival the Exploration Team Federation and Rescue Team Association. An organization known to be run by corrupted Pokemon, but who have no linkable actions that can lead to proper arrests. A Hawks who was found guilty after being caught at the Felicity Bank robbery on the Air Continent. However, none of his teammates were found, and he swears the I miss have nothing to do with it. Get to the bloody point already! I was just about to. The I miss works tirelessly to keep their image afloat. And after the Felicity Bank iced, a lot of eyes are now on them. So, it would make a lot of sense if one of the members wanted to, let's say, draw all attention away. If you're saying I saw the time gear to take the fall for that place, you've got to be the stupidest cop on this continent. And with Paul Pork down there, that's bloody saying something! Well then, there should be no problem with us investigating the forest. Whatever! It's your funeral! Wait, wait, boss. How the heck can we investigate the Twilight Forest? We don't know anything about this continent. Allow me to accompany you. I've known this land since I was a Turtwick. I can show you the quickest path to the forest. But it will still take a day. Maybe more. We'll take whatever we can get. Lead the way. With great haste. Pardon me, my friend. Oh, great. Of course. You two kids. Move it. Oh, uh, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? The detective and I will figure out what's exactly going on here. We will return with news in the coming days. Um, Officer Piggy, can you please disperse the crowd? Gladly. Alright, everyone, move along. Nothing else to see here. We all got stuff to do, everyone. Well, that all certainly happened. Yeah, a time gear being stolen. That's insane. What even is a time gear? That's a big question, but I'll give it a bridge version. A time gear is what keeps the flow of time in an area. If a time gear is removed, the flow of time stops with it. When time stops, chaos obviously ensues. Food becomes rock solid, water is undrinkable, no crops can grow, and other bad things occur. This is why no one ever tries to steal one. Jeez, that sounds awful. Who in their right mind would steal something like that? That's downright evil! Yeah, it is. I'm surprised word is spread already. Normally it takes a few days for this is all found out. I just hope Revile isn't found too quickly. Anyways, we shouldn't let this get in our way. For all we know, Warwick could be lying. We just need to see what those detectives find later. For now, let's have another great day, Tatsuki. <laughs> you always know how to cheer me up, Aidware. Let's hit the town, then get to work. Oh, hey, it's you guys again. I'm, uh, kind of waiting on another package right now. So, uh, sorry, can't hang out again. Hey, uh, real quick. What kind of package even is it? Ah, don't ask questions you don't need answers to. This is my business and my business alone. I'm already shooken up from the square this morning. So politely, go the hell away. This is where you wanted it. Turn it, Mark.
bloody stupid detective. I should have the right to knock his head out for that. That was bloody slander, that was. Don't worry about my client. Mr. Hawksworth is a very short-tempered individual. It's my job to keep him out of trouble. And he makes me work for every penny. success of our non silver I'd like to personally thank you for saving Teddy Ursa. His fire's closest friend. You would have been so worried if something bad happened. You really made fire's day. Any helper of Tim Weather is a forever friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, that drowsy, what an evil, wicked being! I wish I could have been there when you socked him in the face. Ah, yes, I've heard. You saved poor Teddy Ursa from a horrible outlaw. You were quite the heroes indeed. If my brother wasn't so stuck up, I'd give you something for your troubles. But alas, he can't get that stick out of his butt. Nice work protecting Teddy Ursa from that freak. I tell you, most mons today don't know a sweetheart from a sour one. Where I come from, some varmint tries what Drowsy did. We drown their pets in the river. Um, where are you from again, John? Water continent. Why? <laughs> no, no reason. <laughs> Note to self: steer clear of that place. Hey again. So, what is that thing you're holding? Um, on second thought, never mind. I miss you, Mama, Papa. I miss Swim Swim. Tatsuki. Okay, Pokemon, get to work. It just ain't right. I need some doggone help. Y'all just got drafted into my war. Uh, thanks, Oswald. I'll take it from here. You two are doing sentry duty today. Sorry, I'm usually the one that does sentry duty. I mean, it is my name. But today, me and Mr. Fish got a special assignment. The dojo in town had another cave-in, and we need to clear it all out. That's why I can't man my post. Now, it would be great if someone could take over my sentry duty for today. And that's why you're here. Please do a good job for me, will ya? Move him out! Huh? I didn't follow that at all. Why are we involved in this? Yeah, we don't even know what sentry duty even is. 
Daggit, nagget, nabbit, daggit! Ow, my head is pounding. Your head hurts. Try having rabbit ears. What are we supposed to do? Climb down this hole and stand guard. You're on sentry duty. Sentry duty? Yeah! There's a spy creeping around here! So we station a sentry below the guild entrance to evaluate Pokemon visitors. When you first came, you had your footprint evaluated, right? My footprint? What do you... Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Porygon Z's. The footprint is Porygon Z's. <laughs> oh, now I remember. There was that weird hole in front of the gate. I stood on the grating and someone shouted up at me. It was startling. Okay, you want us to climb down this hole, and then? The tunnel down there leads to the sentry post. Sentry rolls through it and pops out underneath the sentry post. From there, it's about identifying footprints. Then I decide who's a spy and who isn't. So we serve as the guild gatekeepers. That's the gist of it. I got hats harder than that. Go, go, go! Alrighty then! Wait a minute. Aidware doesn't have a footprint. We only got two speeds. Fast and faster. Alright, I guess we're just not gonna question that. Ah, it's pitch black in here, Tatsuki. We'll have to feel her way. Ow! Hey! Oh, sorry. Well, we should be getting close to the sentry post. Whoa! Oh! You okay, Tatsuki? Yeah. What did I slip on? Do you have a flashlight? Oh, what? Just because I'm a robot, I have a built-in flashlight? Do you? Yes. What are these? Magazines? Oh, yeah, they are. Hey, Oswald, where are these magazines down here? Oh, shucks. Did Sentry get into my stash again? What even are some of these? I've never heard of them. Tank Busters Weekly. Automatron Monthly. Firearm Digest? Tactical Life? Playmon? Okay, that's enough. Move them out! Go, go, go! Wait, why didn't we use the flashlight to begin with? Oh, there! I see light, Tatsuki! This ain't no scrim, boys. We're in position. Heck yes! Saddle up, boys! Let's kick some ass and take some games! Yes, understood. Incoming! You've worked an honest day, you two. Let me reveal your sentry duty performance. Well, well, your results were completely perfect. You identified every visitor correctly. Son, I never said this to anybody before, but I'm damn proud of you. We did it. We'll reward your efforts, generously, I might add. You all deserve an especially large reward.
keep up the good work. Meanwhile, in an alternate dimension. Your results were... Hmm. Well done. Good job, team. I believe I'll buy you a beer. Yay! Here are your awards for all your work today. Keep up the good work! Meanwhile, in an alternate dimension... Your results were... adequate. Well done, partner. Oh. Here are your awards for the job. I expect to see better effort out of you lot next time, though. Meanwhile, in our dimension... Your results were... dreadful! You were slow and failed so many times... I want to be charitable, but this is pitiful! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! I will send every damn one of you back to hell! Let's get this buzzard bait in a hole, boys! C calm down, Oswald. Don't you dare blame anyone else. Sentry duty is a cooperative job, isn't it? Anyway, this job was a fiasco, no doubt about it. As such, there shall be no reward! Ah, hell. Furthermore, you'll go without dinner tonight! B but are you serious? You're gonna starve us for this? That's outrageous! Take it like a man, Shorty. Okay, everyone. Dinner time! So very hungry. Same. This is just awful. Ah! I'm gonna lay you out! Eek. Ozzy, my boy, what are you doing? No. Uh, stop! Oh, uh, no life fighting! Here, get them soldiers, big man! <sighs> I don't get paid enough for this, man. No, no, How do you no, think no. I feel? Someone! Anywhere! Not like this. That's what my daddy taught me to do to backstabbers. Ugh. I can't feel anything. Same. Whatever happened to take it like a man? Why did no one intervene? No idea. I think Scrimshaw might have tried. I couldn't see much after I had a chair in my face. We need to see Doc in the morning. Absolutely. Ugh, good morning, Tatsuki. Okay, Pokemon, get to work! Oh, uh, you two, let me give you your assignment for today. Look up jobs on the job bulletin board and outlaw notice board. Do the list of jobs, that will do for today. Understood? No shirking your work, okay? 
Well, if you understand, get on with it. <sighs> I'm sorry about last night. Oswald has some serious paranoia and anger issues, but he's the only engineer we have at the guild. He designed the security system we have for the gate, too, so... If Wigglytuff fired him, he could lock us all out. Dominated campground. At least you ain't worthless anymore. You make a mighty fine punching bag. <laughs> Those detective guys come back yet? Uh, uh, what do you guys think? You think the time gear was stolen? I really, really hope you're right. Yes, that's what I was afraid of. I mean, Water's a crazy idiot, right? Maybe it's nothing. I swear, we always go on vacations at the worst times. We return home to hear a time gear might have been stolen? A time gear of all the things! My darling is all stressed about this time gear situation. We went on that trip specifically to de-stress. And now we're back at square one. Podium classic eight percent. Podium pro creator eight creator. Entre te is a cafe ilipe. going on, but... You can hear me? Um, yeah. Great. Just what I needed. My worthless replacements can openly enjoy my suffering. And laugh at my hatred of it. Why did it have to be me? Come on, Dendershunk. We've got a lot to do today. Guildmaster's making me take the swashbuckler out of floor today. I cannot stand his damn accent. What the hell does plorin mean anyway? This is where Pintendil said, right? Yes! Oh, Tatsuki and Aidware. Thank you so much for saving Teddy Ursa. If it weren't for you, I don't know what Tatsuki would have done. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Tatsuki and Aidware. Hey, Morgan. Morgan said, What's up? I know that Alvin job didn't work out. But I got a better one, I swear. She said her name was Spitball. Morgan said I swear you are the dumbest partner sometimes, Angie.
and to have found us at our lowest. He showed us a path the road leader would never go. We're Team AMD. We're a band of thieves led by Mantooth. We had a leader before him, but we don't talk about her. These two are so cute, aren't they? When I found them, they were like lost puppies. Weavile, their own leader. She left them to pursue an honest life. But I must say, she was throwing away such a valuable thing. They're so strong, yet their minds are so malleable. They took to me like moths to a flame and begged me to command them. Really? Isn't that kind of bad? <laughs> Dear boy, this is just nature. There are two types of Pokemon in this world. Pokemon who control, and Pokemon who follow. The Shepherd and the Sheep. Sometimes the Sheep don't know their place, and I have to jump through all sorts of hoops. But these boys, they know what they are. They accept their place in the world the same way I do. So I humbly took them under me. It's as simple as that. Yeah, no, I learned my lesson the last time. What do they think of me? A land dweller. Today they want us to do jobs that are posted on the job bulletin board and not on notice board. Let's look good, Tatsuki.